Um, Greg, you've been on a bunch of calls, but you could introduce yourself again if you like. Not seeing Dave yet. Or Hank. Oh, Hank is here. Um, yeah, I, I'm Greg Costell. I work at Microsoft. I work with Dave Thaler. Uh, in the last six months, I've been working on the uh, Microsoft attestation service in Azure. Hi, uh, Dennis Mattoon. I also happen to be at Microsoft, but in a entirely different area uh, in, in Microsoft research, uh, working on uh, security and privacy topics right now um, with, a, with a particular focus on IoT, but, it, but it's industry-wide. Uh, I am representing Microsoft in TCG as the workgroup chair for the DICE workgroup and as co-chair of the attestation workgroup uh, along with Ned and Hank. Um, yep. Thanks. That was Dennis, right? Anyone else want to introduce himself? Hi, this is Bill Sultan with Cisco. I'm in uh, in our security and trust group, uh, uh, representing Cisco, also a trusted computing group in uh, in a couple of the work groups there. Thanks, Peter. Find it really disconcerting that the WebEx sorts it alphabetically, except it always puts your name at the top. That's on purpose, so you can easily mute yourself in some of the old web interfaces. Yeah, I guess so, but it's just I'm like, it just, it just confuses me because I, I think it's not sorted, then I realize it is sorted, and then. Here's an interesting uh, fact about. WebEx, which, which I believe to be true, I, I know that people have shouted out in the past, but they kind of tweak the user interface all the time so you don't get used to it, and that keeps you a lot more aware to change. <laughs> I'm sorry, but it sounds just like UX designers who don't want to get laid off. Well, you know, it, it sounds that way, but I found it in actual practice that, that it, it it's kind of works. All right, so um, someone, uh, well, so I Dave, didn't see Dave coming. yet, um, and uh, there's a couple other um, regular suspects, Ned, uh, that I don't see yet. Um, so I'm not jumping up and down to start, but let's uh, let's let's let us let's start on some stuff. Uh, so one of the items that I think was uh, open last time was the hardware watchdog we we're gonna we we're gonna give people a chance to read it uh let me change text so you asked me to add the tcg reference um and i did that here and i'm wondering if there's any objections at this point Sarah. Any objections to the text, this text? Hi, Ned. Hey, how are you? Good. We, we're missing Dave at this point. And I, I, I hope he understood we were meeting today, but I'm not sure he did in the end after all. Uh, but let's try to make some progress without him. Uh, any objections to the hardware watchdog case? People had asked. Uh, well, some... Dave, it's very hard to say, but I think he was not. Uh, those were the most contentious items. They were only uh, editorial. I'm going to, oh, we have a conflict in files now. All right, so that has to be uh, remerged. Um, okay, so let's talk about, uh, this is that item, so let's not get talked about that. Uh, let's propose checks, this is 106. 
Uh, definition of verifier owner. So I think, of course, yes, it is. Um, this uh, is a little bit aligned with Hannes's um, comment. Uh, do we really need all this? And I think Dave and some other uh, participants established last time, yes, that we need that. But uh, this is a comment because it was in Kathleen's uh, uh, list of uh, first batch of um, yeah, basically uh, feedback. So it's here. Um, but uh, if it's not contested, I would still assume that this is needed. And therefore, uh, the answer is yes. Okay, so it should just close this. Uh, yes, you know, exactly. Really retain this definition. Okay. Uh, all right, so next issue. Uh, so first, let me come back and ask whether uh, we have everyone we need to make some progress on freshness and time reorganization. I don't see any updates. If you press five, you will, because I, mean, I, in the very last minute, updated uh, PR88, I hope. Maybe it did not push it. Mm -hmm. Push something. <laughs> Let me check where. Um, I'm in more time considerations. So I pushed something to more time cons times considerations. More yeah, time that's it. So, yeah, that should be should be stuff. In there. So I uh, push stuff to the example in appendix. Uh, I don't know. Example three in the appendix. Which apparently did not buy where ten minutes ago. I'm, I'm looking. Ah, is it okay? So these are the changes you've just pushed. So do you want to just, do you want to run us through that or do you want to? Um, so I think the contentious the stuff is actually the, the table above. So the text is now better uh, using the table. Um, so there's additions to the table in, uh, in one of the commits. Yes, that is it. So, uh, so this is the contentious stuff. Um, there is a, uh, a tester awareness here. Um, and Dave was not sure if that is required. Uh, Dave said it is not used. Uh, so now it's used, of course. So that is the text that's, that's something the text is now reflecting. Uh, so this initial comment is uh, basically addressed. But my assumption is, unfortunately, it's not here. Um, that Dave is not sure that uh, a test awareness is needed. One of the things that he said was, this is never tra traversing over the wire. For example, value generation uh, also does not. Evidence generation, of course, does, and there is something relayed, which we should call conveyance at some point, or convey, because that's the terminology we use, but that's only a, a minor net. Um, so the thing is that uh, he said that everything that is associated with the timestamp here is, is at some point conveyed over the wire or the internet or whatever. And uh, that is effectively not the case because uh, at the very least value generation is not. And so um, because only it processed internally. And therefore, it's also event only processed uh, internally. But without him, I'm not sure we can uh, move this forward actually. <coughs> I, I should probably comment. I th certainly think AA is, is useful, so I can put that on the, on the front. You, you th that used okay. in a use case? Oh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, when you have a central time generation or a, a key that can't be distributed until a certain time. So this is similar to TUDA, but just the idea that the attester can't become aware of something because they don't have any possible way to get the nonce uh, until a certain date or a certain time. <clears throat> Did the text for value generation change? It seems like the sentence doesn't make sense. It's grammatically strange. It, it was not my intent to change it. I'm not sure why it shows it's changed here. 
maybe because it was in, in, in um, moved in between or something, but the text actually did not change. I did not touch um, the. Oh, uh, there's a period. There's a period on this one. Oh, early period. Uh, even the old one seems the grammar seems weird. Yeah, so I think I think that is something. Yeah, to, so, so for example, I think also evidence relate is not the terminology we use. I think it's evidence conveyed. But uh, these are nits. Uh, these are other. Uh, I think there should be another uh, editorial pass over the table that fixes the description language by not altering its meaning and also the uh, um, names here, event names. Uh, that, that is all not to the point here right now. I think it is more about the uh, contested, uh, contentious um, content that is AA. And I, I think there is a use case, and I think Eric was agreeing with that right now. But but. Um, so most certainly, uh, I think that it is um, yeah, sometimes, for example, for boot integrity and runtime integrity, but the times between value generation and uh, uh, evidence generation is, is, is huge. And that has an impact on the meaning, of course. So whenever the uh, system gets aware of that and then actually starts to collect them or don't have to collect them because it's already aware of it is, is an, an, a lot of workflows, a fundamental trigger point for lots of protocols, I assume. So that's why uh, awareness is here now. Well, I don't have a problem with putting uh, tags into the document, particularly now um, that um, we think we're going to need in, in, in a protocol definition. But we turns out if it turns out we don't need it, well, we take it out of the document at a in a future uh, revision. Um, that's the difference between proposed standard and internet standard, after all. Um, so I don't have a problem with with it. And if if I hear a couple people saying that they're happy with the, that thing, with having it there. Um, if the text is not perfect, I think we should still merge it at this point. This and, uh, and uh, bash the text. Pardon me? We can always revisit this and bash the text. We, we, uh, we can fix it again. And we have a working group last call that has to start very soon. So um, that if someone really objects to it, then that will come out. That of a timeline, is there a timeline that I'm not aware of? Well, uh, we kind of would like to get, I think there's some thought that we would like to get uh, this document into the ISG hands by the end of the summer. Um, yes. Okay, but if that's okay. our timeline, I, I'm fine. I mean, so that if you work backwards, that means that we need to have a working group call, last call, we need to give our AD time to write it up. Who is our AD anyway? It's Roman. Uh, okay. Um, I know that Ben is very backlogged on a lot of things and like six months on some things. So super quick. I'm actually helping Ben sometimes, so that's funny. Um, yeah, okay. Uh, I think uh, for the sake of uh, time, uh, we can. If there's no objections here, we can merge it now. But I don't. I think because I wrote it, I don't voice any opinion about this. So uh, <laughs> literally, that would be like wrong. I have to. We call it take a step back or something here. I think. First okay. Message. So all right. So that's merged. Oh, okay. Well, let's go on to other. Wait, did they just drop? Pardon me. Oh, sorry. So I thought that we lost someone, but it's uh, it just reconnected. Um, so, um, let's, uh, okay. So what about freshness? Can we do anything with that today? I hope, I think well, Thomas is not on the call, unfortunately, but he provided a lot of feedback and maybe we can even, we can look it through. I think that's worth a while. Uh, I think he uh, did a lot of it. Again, Dave was also one of the here, so uh, I don't know. Thomas and Dave can at least uh, read the comments if there are any. 
Pardon me. With the scroll by a comment that looks like uh, Thomas was the last responder. I think these are the ones we have to look at. I just fixed there's a grammar suggestion here. Uh, okay, um, what are you doing? Oh. What am I doing right now? I'm just stopped at the text right now. That's the big block. Uh, okay. well, we were looking at comments, but okay. Okay. We can read the text, but I think it's based on time of the week. Right now, we read text. Uh, you scrolled by a comment from Thomas. Maybe we go back up and uh, address that. Yes, yeah. So, Ned, is, are you, is Ned on the call? Sorry. He says I'm closing this, right? So, he, dead, he dealt, with, dealt with that part, is what the point. Have you read the uh, data sets to this? What? This then? Okay. Trying to follow it offline. I don't see it. Okay. So let's come back down to here to this comment from William. Um, Uh, you the, the the first part here that addresses your comment. Solely, just wish there was a suggestion here. So and might be suitable. For example, so we need to take this plus this reliable clock. Is that the right? Part. That did not work. It says okay. when it says solely on the appraising party. Oh, can't do that right. Uh, so the current seems when it says solely, it should, should instead say. Yes. Anyway, uh, are you able to uh, comment on this? Yes. I, think I, I don't think the second um, is very good. Um, I want to cause uh, the remote attestation protocol initiator. Is it well? Will this be too complex? Right, it's a new thing. Why wouldn't we just say there? I, I really don't. Quite understand the problem in the first place. Um, um, so I think that the point was that the attester can't cover the case where the relying party sends a nonce, and he says your rights not limited to the attester. But the solution doesn't seem to be right, so he's offering us two solutions, and might be suitable. For example, in the case the attester does not have does not have. Uh, I guess then it goes to relying have a reliable clock. And then he has a second suggestion, which is this larger piece. Yes, I think the first one tries to address base comment, and the second one is an implication of this uh, fix. Um, so. 
Yeah, but if it does not address, uh, it does not help. So uh, maybe uh, we cannot address today when Wei says uh, this is not basically uh, to the point. Oh, I think the second part is isn't uh, from my my comment. Um, the first part can the first uh, situation. You know, uh, he suggests. Uh, uh, to add, uh, for example, I think this can address my comment. And uh, the second, uh, uh, I, I don't think it's from my comment. I think it's um, his own comment. It's like an afterthought. Uh, he was trying to address your point. He, he came up with the second item. So, um, yeah. but okay. So it tends to both, right? So, so it just puts in the 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 first point is we just put in for example. I, I understand that now. It's very hard for me to see that that's all he did on there. Uh, the second phrase where it says solely on the praising entity the verifier or evidence, solely on the remote attestation protocol initiator. So he's suggesting that instead of saying the the verifier, that we have to say this. And I think it's not an improvement. The text complicated. Oh, admit. So right. I don't know. Maybe you. The, the, all these. Uh, uh, um, it's, it's increase the scope on on who triggers what, which is of course. I don't think that's the right place to put it. Okay, so uh, do 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 you want? Does anyone want a chance to read through this block of text, uh, or uh, do you think we've been through this enough times? So I think the text itself, fine. Are there other comments on the on the current text that we could we have a? Otherwise. Actually, went through it quite often. So this is on the NIT level, probably. But please, yeah, tell me exactly. Yeah. But a lot of work went through this. So, so again, Michael, are there other uh, bigger comments in this uh, PR yet? Um, something? No, there's no other no other comments. To match this, you have to. Uh, I think capture the example um, uh, proposal of uh, Thomas in uh, the one item, yeah, because it will be lost in closed PR space. Just merge it. Or uh, the... so raise another issue on this uh, item after we have merged it, so uh, that we can we will not and, and uh, Thomas's proposal an example here. Would that be okay? I'm okay. I think we can go. Uh, no, these are all closed item or things. Um, anybody has a strong opinion about this? Otherwise, <clears throat> no, I, I don't. It, it seems fine to me. Okay. Uh, yeah. the day was here today. That is really. Uh, we tried to. Somewhere, I don't know. There's someone that's from Microsoft here that is working with with Dave. Uh, do you know why it's blocked? Title. I don't know. Ah. Uh, it's me. Either just wait, didn't wake up, or something else. Yes, yeah, that's, that's true. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah, but I think we can revisit this. Uh, if we'll be able to track the uh, the commit. So. Uh, Michael. Huh? I'm making an issue Wait. for based on this text. Yeah. Okay. Excellent. Yeah, I'm doing that. Doing that right now, and uh, I want Please. Thomas Fosati. I'm going to assign it to him. Good. And then we will commit the rest of it. The bottom here. All right. So it has a conflict. So we need. I need to pull and commit it. All right, so let's move on to the next something else. Do you want to pick something?
is Lawrence on the call? I think so. Okay, then Lawrence is PR probably we cannot do. <clears throat> I'm gonna have to drop actually. Yeah, thanks for the effort and of your time. Yeah. Yeah, I think we cannot proceed with either of these because all of us are not here. All right, so we need to figure something out. All right, so uh, I believe Dave did figure out that. Oh, we have other changes to freshness. Crap. Um, I don't know what they are. I'm going to have to go through the whole paragraph. We made some other edit to the freshness area since I'm going to say no. Resolve the mesh conflict right now because I think it merge conflict. Yeah, it. yeah, maybe. Yeah, you know, I, uh, I'm just waiting for you to pick something. So it sounds like we don't have anything that that we can use. What about no, the can. list of issues? Yes, please. What are the list of role issues? Um, I raised number 92 a uh, handful of three weeks ago or so. I don't know if there's any discussion on it. I was not around for any meetings where there were. Yeah, I think we were uh, okay, hoping for more conversation with you. Yeah, I re hey, we talked about this actually on Tuesday. Um, so I remember what we did with it. What did we talk about this? This became a... Okay, so first of all, we did we did create an issue in EAT based upon this text. Um, it's somewhere. Uh, yeah, yeah, I get I get confused by this, my, uh, Michael. Why are these? Is so would is so would the verifier create an attestation on behalf of its own security state and just happen to append the attestation evidence along with it? Or well, would it just be carrying data station evidence as kind of like a, a blob, a, a, an opaque payload, fully signed and onto the relying party to, you know, for, in a, you know, as part of this? It wasn't really clear to me. What was the intention? How would you like to see it done here? Are, are you asking me, uh, the person who created it, or somebody else? Oh, who who created it? Sorry, I thought it was Michael who created. Who created? Oh, I I, I created I created the issue. Um, I have not responded or I, I wasn't present when all the responses happened. Right, and oh, I I I copied this topic because it seems to be specific about eat. Um, I copied it to the eat repo as this issue number sixty three. Okay. Um, here, so I simply copied it over to this to the correct re, uh, GitHub e, uh, repo, so that okay. it can get dealt with as an eat issue. If there's an eat it, uh, eat discussion that has to happen, yeah, uh, I, I was looking. I was essentially looking for a little more ammunition before I went to eat. I wanted. Uh, I was looking for the architecture spec to clearly state that, uh, if if appropriate, right? You know that um, verifiers may have to act as attesters to relying parties. Uh, and once that was clearly stated, then go to eat and say, you know, do you have any guidance on on how we want this to kind of be standardized or not? I mean, that's a very real uh, thing that we do. Uh, and, and I think that that's where we took your topic one and two, right? Mm -hmm. um, uh, we understood that that was maybe the case. And then we saw, thought the topic three was more about the, the mechanics of how does this work? Yeah, that's so, yes. Yeah, so, okay, so just kind of as a meta comment, you know, it, it's one thing where the, where the attester communicates an attestation, to, uh, sorry, not the, the verifier communicates an attestation token on its own behalf to the relying party, and that's fine. I think that's a perfectly legitimate use case. The verifier is basically verify, confirming its security state to the relying party so the relying party can trust it. It's another thing when the attest when the verifier conveys the attestation evidence from whatever the remote device is in the context of an eat into to to the relying party 
that almost seems like uh, embedding a protocol on top of the, uh, you know, within the attestation token that's not, that's maybe a little bit beyond scope. I would think yeah, once I, the, once, I, yeah, go ahead. I'm, I'm specifically, I'm, I'm, I'm talking about the first one. I'm, that, that, that's what's in my head. Yeah. I didn't communicate it well, but that's, that's what I'm th talking about. Okay. In terms okay. of the All second right. one. Got it. In terms of the second one, I just put in the chat window an example of how that could be done from a draft that I posted. So it's a it shows a attestation results vector that includes results plus evidence. So I think that uh, that if you want an example of how that is relevant, then you know I'll, I'll post it here to the to the um, issue as well. But this is an example of how to how a vector. Um, from attestation results might include the information being described in this example. Uh, I mean, I'll take a look at that, Eric. I think that I think the thing, you know, I'm like I I assume one model would be that the verifier would first convey its security state to the relying party, and then the verifier and relying party would establish a secure channel between the in between each other. Then after that, the verifier would just send attestation evidence. Uh, by itself, over yeah. to the uh, over to the relying party. But, yeah, it, it's you not know, there could be other models. Yeah, there are other models, and one of the reasons you might do this is the attestation results might be a one-time event, which gets signed and then stored on the attester to be forwarded over later to the um, to the relying party. So the idea of having to build a secure channel later either might not be an option or it might not be scalable for the solution. So the idea of, of adding extra information on the attested results um, that includes some of the original evidence is a valid means to scale the uh, the verifier quite well. Okay. Yeah, I I think from my perspective, the 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 first part was I was just looking for text, and I still haven't seen it in the doc that basically used the word. You know, when talking about establishing trust with the relying party, you know, use the verbiage of 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 giving it. Uh, um, no, I'm, I'm missing my my terms here. The the let me find my architecture diagram. The um, da -da. The, the evidence, right, the, uh, that, a test, that an attester would give. And yeah, thank you. The, um, so the, the, the text in the, in the trust model section of the doc when it's talking about establishing trust between the verifier and the relying party never uses that term uh, acting as an attester or providing evidence. It, it talks in more vague terms yet when it's talking about establishing trust between the verifier and the endorser or verifier owner, it does speak in those very specific terms. So I, I, I don't understand why the, the, the terms being used aren't uh, the same, essentially. So Greg, would you like to propose a text change specifically? Because I, 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 you pointed at two places here where you, you thought there was some missing words. Yeah. Um, I, I, I could. I'm not sure about processes. I'm very new to working with. Um, well, your your choices your 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 choices are to email text, to send a pull request, um, and it goes down to with GitHub now. Uh, you can literally, uh, you can literally click on this document and hit this edit this file thing, and it will create a pull request for you. Okay. Um, just the beginning is a little bit not markdownish because it's got this YAML stuff in it. Mm -hmm. GitHub, uh, yeah. know. but the rest of it is just markdown. Yeah, I, I, I can certainly do that if 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 uh, you know if, if that's what's appropriate to the next step. Absolutely. Okay. Oh, I mean, oh, or even your ticket, you can even suggest text there if that's what you specifically, and we'll turn it into a pull request. Mm. Okay. Sounds perfect. Okay, so I'm going to sign it back to you. Here we go. Uh, all right, issues.
Hank. Is this issue you opened some time ago? Oh. Oh, I assigned it to you. Any memory of what it was? There's this probably merged. Maybe this is closed. Yeah, maybe this is, is merged. So maybe it's it's closable. Now, yeah, I have because of uh, outdated issue. Um, yeah, this is not on my radar. I have to admit. Okay. Yeah, just look if it's outdated. It might not so, exist anymore. Yeah, it might uh, not exist anymore. So message Lawrence. We assigned it to him. Signed it to him. Uh, preferred serialization format. Uh, I think we did something with this, didn't we? Maybe I dropped the ball on that one. What are role compositions? We, Ned did drop out of the call, didn't he? Yeah, okay. So we can't bother him to know what he just said there. Not a very successful uh, grouping here. Security considerations for implicit test trust model. I wrote that note to myself. I haven't done anything with it. Uh, that was Greg's confusing. That was a question. We're responding with question. Freshness may not be inclusive enough. And that's the one I just opened. Okay. Well, um, that's about it, I would say. Three days ago. Open three days ago. Oh, wait a minute. Okay. Oh, yeah, that is the text uh, day for um, tasked with uh, creating. Yeah, I do it the same day. That's why I probably is apologetic here right now. So we right. so immediately just saves the goal. <laughs> so I had only one problem with it, which is that um, he created this term verifying relying party. And I just felt that we should put a slash or something in it. That was my only yeah. complaint. Yeah, it would be an, an appraising party. Verifying is good. Um, so it would be an appraising or relying party if we want to stick with our terminology. Uh, or we should have uh, focusing it back on roles. Uh, say... So you're saying because the verifier appraises the evidence, yeah. it's an appraising that's that's the case. We have okay, so that would be the first time we are using the words appraising party here. So maybe just I don't know, uh, massage the text a little bit that we can go back to roles. It's fine with me, but also this is just words. I'm okay with this. We also re verify on the uh, relying, which is uh, probably not really what he means. All right. Uh, so I'm just going to write your. Um, also, the term in, in general, so there are times, I'm sorry about this, I did not write any comments, but I thought also Dave would be here. Um, so I don't like, I really, I don't think we should abstain from to attest. Attesting should, that is, I think, a document global policy. And, uh, unfortunately, Dave used the term test again so uh, um, I like to have that in the document uh, with this choice of terminology meaning is good so semantically fine with everything yeah so where does this word show Something, up I don't remember Could you control find the term a test it's basically space a test space something like that Require the relying party owner attest to it. 
Oh, that's a different test. Okay. Yeah, that's not the wrong quite a good test. So uh, a test may the first not test be here. Here, here, this one. And then a yeah, verify yeah. first attempt. Yeah, it's pure testing. So uh, uh, because the, the, the remote attestation is the whole thing. And then uh, the verifier attests, uh, it asserts, assume. Uh, what about this one? Relying a test to it. Yeah. So what is yeah. it you would say instead? Uh, that it asserts or uh, uh, something that has an assertion that most certainly involved uh, on YouTube. Because the um, attestation sure. is such a big word, so you want to trying to avoid it actually. Yeah. So relying party assert to it that would make you happy. No, not 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 not, not, not in all cases. Because if it's just asserting to it, um, I'm not sure what what powerfulness means. Maybe maybe the maybe the relying party has to be an attester here, and it creates evidence about it. So, but I assume that this is correct. Uh, so we have to have they have another look at this. Means literally to create evidence about this as a relying party, which would make uh, render the relying party also uh, taking on role uh, of a tester here, uh, which you already had as another topic here today. So I, I am not sure what Dave really intended here, but I think this is the way this phrase is confusing. Yeah, exactly. Verify first, attest to it. Yeah, I don't know what that means. It's just confusing. So that's my second comment on this. Okay. All right. All right. With that, I'm going to close. I think we should close the meeting. Anything else no, that I'm we think you can do today? Yeah. Yeah, if it will be, we can do that. Which does not seem to be the case. No other business. All right. Thank you to all. Enjoy your weekend. Thank you. Have a good weekend.